Hello, hello. Hello, I'm Nina Kataeuse. I can use this uh, text, my text. Uh, you can check today's announcement using this QR code. Uh, this text may be small, some place, so please check this document at hand. Please check this QR code. And uh, after this session, I will post on Twitter, X or Twitter and in this URL. Let's get started. This uh, today's title is Let's Use Python and OpenCV for Object Detection and What I Did with Conditional Branching. First, Sawadi Ka. Sawadi Ka. Hello. So, my name is uh, first introduction. Uh, my name is Rina Katayose. Dishan Chu Rina Ka. Nice to meet you. Uh, my, uh, my account is this here. Uh, chairperson, I am chairperson of PyCon APAC 2023 and PyCon JP 2022. And I like cards, drone, Raspberry Pi, and other gadget. I like this gadget. Uh, training to piano now. I, recently, I playing to piano and violin. In the future, I want to play this place. I play violin. <laughs> and aiming to be a scientist, not a programmer or an engineer. And I am pilot this Tokyo staff. And uh, Representative Moegi Company and a graduate of aeronautics and aeronautics and aeronautics. Aeronautics and aeronautics. This is a mistake. Aeronautics and aerospace. Uh, this is PyCon APAC uh, staff pictures. Picture. Uh, PyCon APAC 2023 was held in October in Tokyo. Uh, you can see, check this uh, Flickr site. You can check, please, this QR code. Uh, you can see about uh, a lot of picture. Uh, this is me and the vice, uh, front of vice chair. Next, this is uh, agenda. Uh, first, I will talk about why did I want to this to this? this? Let's get started. So what I did, I want to this. Uh, I thought it would be interesting is if we could detect uh, what in what on a drone or a smartphone camera. I want to check this camera. So furthermore, Python can be used to give detailed introductions. For society, I thought it will, would be useful if we could create a program that could recognize people and avoid collisions. Uh, next page is op about OpenCV. Uh, OpenCV is a Python library specialized for computer vision and image processing. It provides uh, functions for loading processing and saving uh, uh, images and videos and can perform advanced process such as face detection and future point extraction. It also supports process using machine learning and keep learning and it's <laughs> CD <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes the uh, CD active. <laughs> and it used to be applications such as image recognition 
ない、リクイグにない、リクグないション、アンドオブジェクトデクテクション。オープン CV is オープンソースアンドアビレーションオンプラットフォームサッチャーズ、ウィンドウズ、リナックスアンドマック OS。Uh, I have a question.、Uh, do you, uh, uh, do you ha、uh, ha have you ever been to use this OpenCV?、Uh, thank you. <laughs>、uh, next, uh, preparing, prepare,、uh, preparing OpenCV.、Uh, you will prepare, in, uh, prepare an environment. Met, environment Where Python can run. It will omit this step here. You will install the necessary libraries in the terminal. Next, preparing OpenCV. Next,、uh, integrating OpenCV into Python to use Python.、Uh, To use OpenCV with Python, it needs to be integrated into Python. This can be done by using the following command to install it with pip, which is a package management tool for Python. Please see my GitHub for other details, but this is、uh, Japanese. Uh, next, preparing OpenCV Cascade Classifier.、Uh, you, can, you, you need a download of Cascade Classifier.、Uh, download the Cascade Classifier. This is XML data required for face detection.、Uh, you can download this、uh, URL. This time I will use the following cascade classifier XML.、Uh, next, uh, about what is a class, cas, cascade classifier?、Uh, OpenCV's cascade classifier is a type of algorithm used for object detection. The cascade classifier can detect specific objects within an image. Using a trained machine learning model. For example, it's used to applications such as face recognition and person detection. Next,、uh, what is a cascade classifier? Next set,、um, page、uh, Image detection requires learning on the computer. However, using cascade classifier can save. You that effort. Training cascade classifiers are saved in XML format and can be loaded and using used with OpenCV also. OpenCV provides pre -training, trained cascade classifier、uh, for face recognition. I detection and person detection. By using these classifiers, you can easily perform object detection.、Uh, this is, is for example program.、Uh, this is first program.、Uh, first, prog、uh, you can you write、uh, import CV2 and loading image.、Uh, uh, Be careful when entering file pass.、Uh, if you, you want to use,、uh, this is uh, uh, my, my computer is Mac OS, so, so please check this. You know, so this is pass is important. Please check this in,、uh, pass file pass.、Uh, next step、uh, convert to grayscale. Next,、uh, Next is loading, load classifier for face detection. Because,、uh, be careful, next, same,、uh, be careful, file pass. Next,、uh, last uh, code, uh, face, next, uh, 
execute phase detection and surround the detect phase with uh, uh, the rect, uh, rect angle. So, uh, after this, uh, uh, after this slide, uh, I will do demonstration this code. Uh, this is the result. Uh, this is the model picture. Uh, pick result of program execution. But uh, for some reason, there is also face recognition in left shoulder. This is a mis mistake. But there are also different judgment like this. It's not a perf perfect program. So I think there's a lot of learning to be done. Uh, this is demonstration recognition. So let's check uh, first demonstration. Just activate my show. This is normal. Uh, so, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. This is so before, before check this uh, still picture. But next, let's check uh, Python program. Uh, this is check program and so same. Uh, this this result of this. You can check this. So no, af before and after. Next. Next, next, uh, next, let's go to next. Uh, this we have uh, uh, after this so last uh, uh, after this uh, session, I want to try uh, another uh, other demonstration. Uh, and I tried with conditional branching. Until now, it was a question of whether the object was individual, uh, was visible in the image through the program. This time, as an applied version, uh, displays the text of the object detection detected in the image do something when something appears uh, measure measure and display the number of people from images this seems to be a little more practical uh, conditional branching do something when I something appears Check the number of smiles detected using OpenCMV. Uh, I am writing code that will be executed, with, executed if, you, if a smile detective, the if statement allows you to ex execute something conditionally. The, uh, this slide is done, uh, fi fi finally. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, slide is for uh, finally. So let's check last session is uh, demonstration. I will try. Next uh, movie, uh, it, will, it used to movie check uh, OpenCV.
あれ保管おっちょっとアクティブ、This is act. Oh, sorry. <laughs> もう一回チェック。This is movies check OpenCV. So you can use this pattern. Next,、uh, I want to try real time face check.、Uh, next. Oh, go on. Before this slide, I, it, it is moving, but now not moving. Once check more. Active, <laughs> sorry. So, I want to, this place, I want to try a real time face check, but not done, <laughs> not moving. I'm sorry, just mistake.、Uh, time,、uh, we have time to start off.
connection refused. Okay, Python. I'm sorry, so please. <laughs> Please just a moment. Not active. Sorry. So just before this slide and and talk, I it and walking. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> While we're waiting, <laughs> I have a question for you all. Has anyone done the object detection before using any other language? Can anyone raise your hand if you have done it before? Oh, I see oh. many of you have done it before. How do you change oh. English? English? Yeah. How was it? Anyone would like to give a talk? How is your experience? <laughs> we have a reward. Not interesting? Okay. Oh, you want to give a talk? Yeah. Okay. Just a little, yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, but uh, for me, it's kind of not, not really on, uh, not, not kind of face recognitions, but uh, actually I did uh, like some um, text recognitions or MNIST, which is like being a fundamental uh, practice for machine learning or something. It's like uh, we have a data set of uh, MNIST which containing a lot of styles of writing of uh, letters or maybe of uh, numbers. Mm. So uh, I decided to use Python and also with um, TensorFlow Keras to mm. tra train the data to know that um, there's uh, handwriting, mm. which letter or which number that they write. Mm. Can anyone clap your hand for this person? Kun board, yeah. Can you get this man a reward? Anyone? <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyone would like to? Okay, it's done. Yeah, enjoy the show. Okay. I'm sorry. This is. I'm so sorry. So this uh, demonstration is not good. Uh, uh, so I'm sorry. After this session, I will try to check this my okay. Uh, this my program. I'll check uh, again. So if you want to see this uh, result uh, after this session, please come here my place. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and next. So last session is finally. Uh, so that's with the open source that already exists face recognition and by writing details code in Python, we can do more fun things. You can do more fun things by writing det details. Code in Python. The yo ah this is finish a open car. Thank you. Thank you.